welcome back to eSpark News. This is Kirat Doshi. And now for our featured story. It's about adding and subtracting word problem. Let's go straight to our lead reporter, Mary Gurley at the State Fair. Mary, are you there? Thanks, Kirat. As you can see, we are here at the Minnesota State Fair. We have met some great people and eaten a lot of great food. And who knew we would stumble across so many word problems? Some of the favorites here at the fair are corn dogs, caramel apples, and deep fried candy bars. Yummy. This is some of the more traditional food. We've also met some brave folks who've tried fried scorpions. Yikes. We bumped into Sam and his baseball team at the corn dog stand. Sam told us that together they ate 18 corn dogs, 27 caramel apples, and nine fried candy bars. Can you eSpark viewers help me figure out how many pieces of food the team ate all together? Step one is to figure out what math operation is being used. I know the word all together means the same as addition, so we have an addition problem. The next step is to figure out what we are adding. It looks like we have 18 corn dogs, 27 caramel apples, and 9 fried candy bars. Now that we know what we are adding together, we can create our problem. We have 18 corn dogs plus 27 caramel apples plus 9 candy bars. The next step is to add the numbers in the ones column, which are 8 plus 7 plus 9. 8 plus 7 plus 9 equals 24. So I put the 4 in the ones column and carry the 2 to the tens column. Now it's time to add the tens column. 2 plus 1 plus 2 equals 5. So Sam and his team ate 54 pieces of food. Let me tell you, after I saw them, they looked pretty full. After talking with Sam's team, I met his coaches. They decided to be a little bit more adventurous and bought 25 fried scorpions. After eating 12, they decided they didn't like them. Eastberg viewers, can you help me figure out how many fried scorpions they had left? So, just like the first problem, let's figure out which math operation to use. I know that the words are left mean the same as subtraction. Our next step is to figure out what we are subtracting. It looks like they had 25 scorpions and ate 12. So I am going to set up the problem 25 minus 12. Just like in the first problem, I'm going to start in the ones column and subtract 5 minus 2, which equals 3. Next, I'm going to subtract the numbers in the tens column. 2 minus 1 equals 1. The coaches had 13 scorpions left. Well, Kirat, that's all the word problems from the Minnesota State Fair. Good luck to our viewers solving their own word problems. Back to you at the studio. Great report, Mary. Great work. Hey, bring me back one of those deep fried candy bars, will ya? <laughs>